if you are eating breakfast, you may want to put down your oatmeal <laughs> just for a minute. Take a look at this. A little bit nasty. What this is are a they? Carrot. Not so pretty, uh. right? But can you guess how old it is? We're uh. going to tell you in just a minute. Because Still orange in the middle. If <laughs> you crack it open, right? <laughs> Nearly a quarter of household trash is made up of organic material, like those carrots. That's right. Annalise Smith is back from Waukesha County Recycling with a lesson on composting, composting to ensure that organic materials stay out of landfills. Good to see you again. Good morning. Good I got to yeah. know about this carrot. Yeah, how did old are those? Did you bring the carrots? I, I did not bring the carrots. Okay. Um, so those carrots are 10 years old. Stop, Stop it. Uh. Yep. Whoa. So, How did somebody find that? Were they in a landfill? Are those from a landfill? Yes, those are from what? a landfill. And there's what? a special type of person called a garbologist. And they go. <laughs> no way. Yes. Yep. There's a, a real job. A real job is a garbologist. <laughs> a <real job. laughs> and they dig up the trash and just see how things are decomposing. And, and mm -hmm. you can learn a lot about how people live by what they throw away. Okay, because don't you think when you, there's a lot of stuff you throw away like a disposable diaper, you're like, oh, this yeah. might take 10, 20 years. But you throw away a carrot, you're thinking, oh, in a week, yeah. that's yes. gonna become Some dust. Some animal, eat it. Ashes or, to ashes. You know, right. But in landfills, there is not any oxygen. And so things do not decompose the same way that you would if you just threw it out the window. Yeah, and you got to okay. think how they smell too. Yeah, I'm sure it smells <laughs> wonderful. So today or this week is International Composting Week, is that correct? Yes. Or Awareness Week? Yes. So what should people know? Because you know, I've seen, and I think a lot of people have now, like home composting things you can put on your kitchen sink, whatever, but I never quite know wh how it works or if it smells or any of that. So Composting can be as easy or as involved as you want it to be. Mm -hmm. um, so there's kind of like a level of engagement for every for everyone. Okay. Um, you know, I started out as a very lazy composter, uh, just with yard materials, and you're you're helping nature do what it wants to do naturally. Okay. Um, so you're just making sure that the conditions are right for for decomposition to happen, and um, it shouldn't smell. So. Okay. Okay, talk yes. brass tacks with us because you brought a lot of props yes. and I want to make sure we get to this because people are like, okay, I want to compost, but do I do fruits and vegetables? Like what can be, so give us the sure. basics on what can be, what's good to compost, what you don't compost and how you do it. Yeah, so um, typically you want to use a larger container in your backyard. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> I didn't even see that until right now. <laughs> Did you? That's pretty Did big. Did you see that? I didn't yeah. even see that. And where does it open? Um, so it opens on the top and you okay. would add Jump all in. of your material. <laughs> you would add all of your material for okay. the top. There's and this a lot is, of room for material. Yeah. This is a good size because it's going to allow the middle of the pile to get nice and hot. In the winter or the fall, if you take the lid off, it'll actually steam up. And it's because all of the little bugs that are living in here doing the decomposition are working hard. Yeah. And, and you want those hot. bugs. Yes. Right? But maybe yep. don't keep it right next to your house. You know, a few feet away from the house <laughs> is not a bad idea. Um, also, if you have any big trees, you want to move the big around every couple of years because the trees will start to grow their roots towards the compost. Because they want to oh, eat. Oh, yeah. because they want it. It's so good nutrient and nutrient dense. dense. Yep. Wow. Okay, good so. to know. See, we get it. All right. So the things that you can put in, mm -hmm. and if you guys want to just yep. start sure. adding, okay. we can, we can this stuff? add all of this stuff is great. So you want so all of this? Different, different mixtures of green and browns. So okay. greens are like your live flowers. Dude, you got to go full handfuls. And oh. There we go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and leaves Dude. are great. So this is easy composting. This yeah. okay. you can take care of it. You want to make sure it's damp as a wet wrung out sponge. Okay. And you every week poke it with a stick or with a pitchfork to make sure that there's air. So, because oh. again, you've got your bugs and they're doing the real work. Cute. So you want to make sure Cute that, that you brought these kind of bugs for us. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for not bringing the real kind. <laughs> anytime, anytime. Um, so you want to make sure that they're fed well and that they have air and water, just like what we need to Okay, live. so air, water, and then their composting okay. material. Yep. Okay. And then we've also got fruits and vegetables. Yeah. This is getting a can little bit more. Can whole fruits go in there? It, they can. If they're, if yep. they're, if they're spoiled, yep. you know, kind of thing? Absolutely. Okay. Um, Absolutely. They'll take longer to decompose, so you, if you can smash it up, it helps. Um, oh, my son loves to do that with a baseball bat. Mm -hmm. Yep. He loves For real. knock fruit that's ripe. Yep. Okay. Great. <laughs> Um, we've also got coffee grounds, eggshells, and bread are fantastic. Oh, okay. okay. I'll, I'll add that. All egg those shells, things bread. Got your bread. <laughs> and if got your tea bags. Oh yeah, I make iced tea every day. A new pitcher, and so I could put my old. As long as they don't have the metal staple or yep. the okay plastic. Yep. Okay. Okay. And if it starts smelling, 
chances are you don't have enough browns, so top it off with some shredded paper or some oh. other leaves, and okay. that'll help absorb some of the odors. And then you just water it, let it stir it up for three to six months, and you'll have this. Uh, no and way. That's it. Yep. I've never covered most of before. Look. Um, you you can cover it. Yep. So and that's just to help keep critters out. But there okay. are a lot of different bin styles. So at Retzer Nature Center, yeah. we have a lot of those different types of bins on display, so you can see what works best for you. Can you Love just it. Google or Amazon? I mean, are compost bins like everywhere? They are. Home yes. improvement stores, things like that. Yep. You okay. can make your own. Um, we do have a sale going on in celebration of International Compost Awareness Week. Say of that course a few you times do. <laughs> Um, out at Retzer Nature Center through Saturday. Um, we're taking $10 off the cost of, of this bin. Um, if you want to use that type of a bin or again, Googling, there are lots of suggestions. Something real quick, would this you leave awesome. this in your kitchen or would this be outside the small size of one? Um, you know, I usually have a bowl and I fill it up and every couple of days I take it out okay. to the bin and drop Got it, it in. That was so fun. That was great. That. So we had the um, free composting workshop up. Here's a little bit more about it. If you want to learn more, start doing it for yourself. Be good to the environment. Thursday, May 8th, it's at 5.30. It's at the Retzer Nature Center. You can learn more at the website on your screen, waukeshacounty.gov slash recycling. Thanks, Annalise. Thank you. I love it when you're yeah. here. That was, that was fun. fun. That is fantastic.